What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. I am on a quest to review every single Nintendo 64 racing game. In this week's review, I'll take a look at Beetle Adventure Racing and answer the question, is this game worth picking up and adding to your collection today? Beetle Adventure Racing was developed by Paradigm Entertainment and published by Electronic Arts with a North American release date of February 28, 1999. This game is an arcade style racing game where you play using only the 1997 Volkswagen Beetles. There's three cars to start with and later you can unlock more or different variants of the Volkswagen Beetle. You race these cars across six vast different tracks. Now right away when you start playing this game you'll notice just how long many of these courses are. Each of which have alternating or branching paths that require you to take thorough exploration to find. Some may almost feel like a puzzle of sorts. Now, there's no story per se in this game, but let's touch briefly on the controls. For an arcade style racer, they're quite simple and thankfully responsive enough. One button for the gas, one button for the brake, and if you choose manual transmission, then there's a way to upshift and downshift. So overall, I have no complaints here. The only caveat that I will make is it does take a little bit to get used to downshifting and also trying to drift around some of the tighter turns in this game. So just make note of that. Next, let's touch on this music's game and sound effects. The engine sounds from the Beatles can be a little bit annoying at times, but overall, I didn't really find it to be game breaking. The music in this game is nice enough, but not superb. I will say, however, that it fits the game overall. Now finally, let's ask the question, is Beetle Adventure Racing worth picking up and playing today? Well, at a price trading price of just under $20, I would say absolutely. It is a solid racing game that really feels like you can sink your teeth into. In some ways, it's kind of the opposite of Star Wars Pod Racer. Whereas that game's a good one to just pick up and play for like 10 minutes. This game feels like you really want to just sit down and try to devote some time. Find out the branchy paths and just enjoy and explore the long tracks. Thanks for watching everybody. Until next time.